Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Boss Mode 96 back at it again with another WWF Hasbro pickup video. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I finally got my green card Series 11 figure in the mail today and I will be showing him off to you very shortly. But I also have two other figures to show off today. I initially planned on showing off my green card figure in a video by himself, but since I got two other figures shipped to me today as well i figured i might as well just do a video showing them off collectively so i don't have to make two separate videos and upload two separate ones so that's what we're gonna do so without further ado let's get the show on the road let me show you what i got first figure we have here is coco beware let me get focused there got a very uh bright color scheme for his outfit got highlighter colors i guess you could call it you got neon pink and yellow and blue as you can see, he's got some scuff marks and play wear here and there, but that's to be expected with figures of this age. Oop. He's got the springer mechanism because he was a high-flying dude, like to jump off the ropes. This is a figure I've been meaning to get for a very, very long time, but I guess for the reason of, of pricing, I haven't been able to find one that I was comfortable with, and I finally recently was able to find one that I was, I was okay paying that price for. The thing with Hasbro figures is that you can get a rough estimate on what a figure is worth, but with eBay, and I think this is for any item really, you have such a wide array of, of price points and asking prices for items. So one person could be asking 19 to $20 for this figure, and then the next guy could be asking $40. So initially wasn't able to find a price I was comfortable, comfortable with, but finally I was able to. So I'm super, super happy to get Coco in the collection. It's been a long time coming. The next figure we have this is from his pre-Big Papa Pump days. We have Scott Steiner. This is when he was in a, can we focus here? There we go. This is when he was in a tag team with his brother Rick and they were the Steiner brothers. One of the greatest tag teams of all time. Won gold in every territory that they were in. WCW, WWF, you name it. They had the gold. They were a great tag team. Super athletic, very knowledgeable of wrestling um, and also made their opponents look very, very good as well. Worked great as a team. So I was super happy to get this in. I like the color scheme. Got the coral pink on one side and then you got the, the tie dye, I guess you could call it, on the other side. Thought it was kind of cool how they split the singlet up in half and painted two uh, different sides like that. He's got some scuff marks here and there. You can especially see it in the, uh, the pink side of the singlet right here. And then on the back, on the boots and on the back of the singlet as well. So he's got some play wear and his action arm is very very loose and swinging but the action still works let me see if i can do it for y'all see we still got a working action arm kind of clicks but it still works that's all that matters but yeah i was super super happy to get that in the mail um still looking to find a a rick steiner figure um for some reason he is worth a lot more than Scott. Um, so I'm still looking for him on eBay, trying to find a price I'm comfortable with so I can uh, complete the Steiner Brothers tag team. But I was super happy to pick up Scott. There we go. Okay, let me get a drum roll. Let me hear that drum roll. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this? We have Adam Bomb, Series 11 green card. He's in super, super nice shape. I was so happy to get this in. I've been wanting this figure for such a long time, and I finally got him. I figured since it was my birthday, I've got some money pulled together. I might as well pull the trigger and get this guy, because I know the longer I wait, the more and more this guy's going to be worth. The only knock on the figure is that there's a little paint wear on the knee pad right there, but other than that, he is in close to mint condition. He is in super, super nice condition. Got the same mechanism as Scott. Let's see if I can get it to work. There we go. Now I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm not gonna mess with the action just because I paid a lot more for this figure than the other two that I'm showing off today. But I'm so, so happy. This figure just looks so awesome to me. I love the paint job. I think Adam Baum had a really cool costume. I love the, uh, the attire with the uh, nuclear goggles i guess you could say i just thought he was a really awesome looking uh 
guy, and I think this is an awesome looking figure as well. Really wish they would have given Adam Ball more of a push in the WWF. I heard that he was um, supposed to be given an IC title push, but that never happened for one reason or another. But this guy was very intimidating and uh, very athletic, very skilled in the ring, Brian Clark that is, who played Adam Ball. So I think he definitely should have been given more of an opportunity. Even in the WCW, this guy was a very gifted wrestler, very big dude, um, very skilled in the ring. So I was so happy to get this in, in the mail. You guys have no idea. I could go on and on and on all day and make a 24 hour video about how excited I am to get this figure in. Um, but yeah, this is, this, this is the biggest pickup to date by far that I've gotten in this collection. You can hear me stuttering because I'm just so excited. When I opened this up, I marked out. I was freaking out. I wanted to do an unboxing, but once I saw it, I just got so excited and basically uh, started opening the package immediately. But I'm so excited to get this guy in. <laughs> like I've said probably about 20 times, but this just means my collection is getting closer and closer to getting finished. I know with all the green cards being so expensive that it'll probably take me a while to purchase all of those but it's getting close it's getting close really all I have left is a select few here and there and then all the repaints and re-releases of figures that's really all I have left in addition to the green card figures but I'm getting very very close to a complete collection so those are the three I wanted to show off to you guys today I'm gonna clear off a spot immediately on the shelf for this guy and show them off because this is this is the crown jewel of my collection right now I'm so happy to have this guy. You guys have no idea. But um, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Um, I've got one more figure on the way. I know for a fact that it's getting shit from the UK. So um, I'll definitely be making a video on that. And hopefully I'll be able to find some other figures for uh, really good deals on eBay. So I'll be able to make some more videos for you guys. I'm a collector by uh, nature. So I've got other stuff I can show off. I have a whole big case knife collection and some more comic books that I didn't show off. In my video several years ago so I'm not saying these figure um, videos are over by any means um, the videos are just gonna start slowing down because I'm getting very close to a complete collection um, but I'm a collector by nature like I said so I have other things I can show off as well so um look for different kind of videos to be um, uploaded to this channel channel in the incoming weeks so um, like I said thank you guys for watching so much thanks for sticking with me um, Whenever I get those other figures in the mail, I will definitely be sure to show them off to you guys. But uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I will see you later.